Well, baby, I'm on it with a bottle of wine and an old dirt road. Are you ready to go if you want to? Okay. Hey, thanks, everybody, for joining us today. Live Music Nation Podcast Festival Edition. Today, we are with Joe Best Smith. She is in charge of the Rustic Willow Market Festival. Joe Beth, thanks for joining us. Give us a little background on you. Where'd you grow up? Talk a little bit about your family and career. Yeah. Hey, I'm happy to be here. Um, I am um, Joe Beth Smith. I'm born and raised in Elkma, Alabama. So it's North Alabama, right at the Tennessee Alabama state line. Um, I've been married 12 years. We have an 11 year old daughter. Um, I started working at a store, like a, a retail store where vendors set up. We had about 10 vendors total. That store owner was closing the store. So I took it over, changed the name to the Rustic Willow. We um, recently, I did very well. So we moved to a larger location. It's like a 7,000 square foot store with like over 50 different vendors set up inside. And we just kind of needed something to bring in some new people. And um, we started doing the market days where we just get, um, it's like another 30 to 40 vendors that come and set up outside. Okay. All right. So you own the property and then just do vendor spaces or how does that work? Yes. Um, we have a total, well, we have over 50 vendors inside the store open seven days a week, but on our market days, it's about 40 different vendor spaces. So it's just like jewelry, clothing, um, crafts, um, even vegetables. Sometimes it's just unique and a variety of stuff. Okay. All right. Very good. Well, let's jump in a little bit. Give, give people, um, I think you did a pretty good job here before I even ask the question. I always ask these next three questions. What does it look like what does it smell like, meaning food? What does it sound like, meaning activities that you have going on through the time? Okay. Um, the look is just going to be like you really never know. You're going to find <laughs> furniture, home decor, um, jewelry. You're going to just find a lot of people having a good time. Um, food, we used to work with food trucks. Now we actually get the Boys and Girls Club to come and sell hamburgers, hot dogs, and barbecue. So that's always what you can smell because the barbecue smells awesome. Right, um, right. We don't have any live music yet, but uh -huh. that's something that we would love to add later on for sure. Sure, absolutely. <laughs> for for you, uh, I mean, talk about the reward. Why? Why? Uh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of dedication. Why? Mm -hmm. Why keep doing it? It is a lot of work. It's it can get <laughs> stressful for sure. But just to meet new people, bring new people in, I think that even the vendors that set up outside, I think they really enjoy it. They have I've watched all of them become great friends because they come every month. So just meeting new people and trying to get something going in our small town. Talk a little bit about your town. Talk about uh I mean brag on it a little bit. Um, it's just the cute little Hallmark Channel town, really. Um, it is, Ard it's my, I live in Elkmont, but my store is actually in Ardmore, Alabama. Mm -hmm. So half of it is actually Tennessee. So it's two states. It's smack dab in the middle of the state line. Um, but it's growing. It is really growing. There's a lot of nice people there. It's a small community. Um, and they're, they're, we're just trying to, we're trying to put our town on the map and get people our way. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Okay. A couple fun questions because I am in live music and live entertainment. I just like to survey. So you're in Alabama. We're excited about that. Super close to Tennessee. Joe Beth, what's the best concert you've ever seen in your entire life? Um, I have not went to many, but Jason Isbell probably. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's about as good as you can get when it comes to yeah. performance and an artist. Okay, that's great. Okay, dead or alive, you could bring one musical artist or group to your hometown to say thank you to your hometown. Who would you bring? I love George Strait. Oh, yeah, George would be yeah. a fantastic concert. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, uh, just Lastly here, best part of your job. What's the best part of your job? Um, 
probably just meeting new people. I like to, I'm interior design and stuff. So mm -hmm. I like to put stuff together and make people's homes pretty. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> perfect. That's right. And you get, you get to share that. And, and I'm sure that the people that you meet, the vendors that you bring in that are all part of that, it just enlarges that community as you go through there. And that's really what it's about. Yes. Very good. Well, our hope is that people will put this on their map and their travel plans and uh, come visit you guys and, and uh, see what you have to offer. And, and the barbecue is always enticing for anyone. So that's perfect. Yep. Absolutely. Joe Beth, thanks for being on with us. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, baby, I'm on with a bottle of wine and an old turgot. Are you ready to go if you want to?